Working on heel with Bailey. Not sure if you remember the drop off, but man, she was pulling. She was pulling like crazy, actually. Um, just constantly lunging at the end of the leash. So we're teaching her a new way to travel with her handler, which is walk and heel. Universally done on the left side, following the left leg. So it's on the left and slightly behind. I'm happy with that. Yeah, so with e-collar heel, the dog learns sort of like a bubble to keep their head within, right? Next to the leg. And if their head moves out of that bubble, whether it's too far forward, to the left, too far behind, behind the legs, that's when the e-collar turns on. So as long as they're walking nicely next to us in heel, they're getting good girl, lots of praise, and the absence of the correction. So the result is a dog who does not pull because it's no longer serving them. It's no longer getting them where they want to go. When she came here pulling as hard as she could, why? It's because that got her where she wanted to go. Jumping, that's self-rewarding. Even if the person isn't petting her, she's enjoying it. Also working on her stay. The two big parts of our program, broken down very simply, are movement and stay. So movement would be recall and heal, and stay would be sit down or place. Those two concepts dogs struggle with, believe it or not. They don't want to be told to stay and they don't want to come when called. <laughs> they want the freedom to do as they wish when they wish. Only problem with that is when you really need them to listen, it's not good. Good girl. Life threatening situation. It becomes real. Oh, yeah, cars. Yep. Yeah, things like that. Cars, chasing, chasing deer, knocking over somebody and getting sued. Yep. Dog fights. Yep. Shoulder getting dislocated. Yep. yep. Good girl. Bailey. Break. Good girl. Good girl.